Well, welcome back for another check video and set. Um, at the first spot, I already stopped and checked this on my way home, but I want to. I need to readjust a few things. This lure I'm using on that rat set, it was originally marketed as a beaver lure, and I didn't know that until I got a hold of Dobbins. And you can see, like, there's so much. Like, there's a caster mount right there one there all these beaver chewings eight days till beaver season opens so i'm going to adjust these feed traps here and then we're going to head on down the line and do and check the rest maybe set a few more okay so back at this spot and we made a catch coon today doesn't look half bad, not huge. But I'm gonna run up and check these other two. They're right up the creek here. I'll come back and get him taken care of. No, oh, nothing in the bottom edge, nothing in the rat set. Go back and get this coon taken care of. I wondered, because the next pocket down, it was set off. And like, it, I missed him. It wasn't any struggle or anything. So I wonder if it was this one and just come up the creek. All right, so actually, oh no, my pit boot has a leak in it. Um, the drag did what it was supposed to. It got him away from the set. So the pocket's still pretty good shape. I got him taken care of. He's up there. So I'm going to reset this trap. And I'll come back on my way back through and stop and rebate this. So, because it, it's good. It's 52 today which is a ridiculous. And it's supposed to be 60 tomorrow, so the coons are gonna be running tonight, so I gotta get this rebated. But I gotta run the rest of my sets, too. And I had high hopes for this spot. I put a pocket in here, got these bottom edges, and I put a pocket in up here, where the coon tracks, and then that top edge over there. Yeah. Huh. And coons weren't in here last night, night before though. Yeah, that set will catch him right there. Pocket trap. Well, I guess that's all part of it. On to the next one. Okay, so water's still up here. That's because this dam's controlled by, or this creek is controlled by a dam several miles up. It's the uh, Army Corps Dam. <laughs> and they're running it wide open just because it's they drain the lake down. But anyway, put another bottom edge right there, right along this old bridge here. So, so yeah, that goes easy enough to adjust if the water, when the water drops. So carry on. That'd probably be a good place for 110 too. You can see there's a trail running. Well, welcome back guys. Um, I'm just gonna combine this with yesterday's check into one video. Water is up again, like, it makes it so hard to trap these creeks. And we're supposed to get more rain tonight. I don't know. But you know, cut water comes up, messes your sets up you got to go through redo them they're good for maybe a day or two and then you got to do it again so but we actually got a nice coon here oh i'm gonna get him taken care of that's not a giant but back foot catches the back foot deep in there he's not happy with me right now check this mink set just so tough with this water like this i mean makes it hard like i can't even see this mink set 
nor do I want to even try to get out there. All right, I'm gonna get this coon taken care of and we'll go. All right, guys, got this coon. Deep, deep back foot catch. Not probably average size, but he's that yellowish, which it's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna pull this trap just because there's no way to remake a, there's no way to remake a pocket right now with the water and it's gonna come up even more. So I guess. But all right, that's it for today. Everything's underwater. I'm, I was really hoping we'd do good today because it, it was warm last night. The coon should have been running and obviously they were, but you can't work your sets if they're under a foot of water. So but all right guys, stick around. I've uh, got more videos coming up. Beaver season starts in a week. Fisher season starts in a week. We're going after them. I'm actually probably gonna pull this, these few traps I have in here. Just, I did get the mink over there in this coon, but I don't know. It's just, I think these traps would be better somewhere else, so. Blood, he's blood already. What do you think? Pretty cool. Yeah. It's my second racket. What? My second racket. Yeah. Here, grab and hold them up. Hey. All right, we are back again. Um, really hoping the coons were running last night. It was warmer than it has been. But the main thing today I want to do, well, there's two, obviously check my sets. And fisher season starts Saturday here in PA. We're allowed one fisher a year. Um, I need to go build fisher cubbies. So when I set, I can just go in there, set, and get out. But let's check these sets first and I'll let you know, and I'll let you know if we got anything. All right, so you've heard me ramble on the past couple videos that there's another spot up here I wanted to check. Um, we had nothing down there. Well, yeah, a cat, not a bobcat either. Um, anyway, up here there's a spot that last year in Flintlock, I actually caught a beaver up here in beaver season last year, and uh, it looked really good for rats. So I want to check that out. See if there's any sign now that rifle season's over. Okay, I just got up to this one pool. I wanted to check. Um, definitely beavers in here again. You can see right here, trail going up. It's cutting way back in there. Not way back, but to you guys, it looks way back in there. That's a good trail so Saturday that'll be getting a beaver trap put in there I, I found a ton of muskrat cuttings up here last year but it was later in the year too so who knows they can move they do move around that, that definitely got holes in my hip boots now from that effing cat I bet you they have I bet you there's a bank down right under there Bank down it goes up in. Hmm. All right, so I made another blind set, which I didn't bring the camera and I should have to show you, but I didn't. Um, these ones had nothing, which isn't surprising. Number one, I'm not a fox or coyote guy. I stick to mink and rats and coon, but I did, uh, Anyway, this is trapping weather here. To put it same, to put it simply, it sucks. It's cold. It's raining. I hope we don't get a bunch of rain. That way, I have to redo everything again. But carry on to the next spot. All right. So I just checked that bottom edge. Nothing. 
I actually brought an extra trap with me because I've been wanting to do this, but there's a trail, dry land, runs along here, and right there is a trap. See a tree, concrete wall, perfect pinch point, coon, mink, rat, I mean really whatever's gonna come through here. So I got a few more to check, I got one to pull, and then hopefully you're gonna go build some fisher cubbies here later on this afternoon. All right, back later in the afternoon. Just picked up Junior from the bus. It is gonna be Saturday's opening day of fisher season. So I'm gonna build some cubbies. This is the farm I caught a fisher on last year, which I'll link that video right now. Um, oh, somebody left the camp chair for me. How nice. I probably won't show you too much because it's boring real quick, but um, build a, f a couple fisher cubbies, get set for the opening day, and call it good. So, all right, so I had one here last year. This area just looks good. I want high ground because we're supposed to get a bunch of rain, so don't want to deal with that. I already deal with it enough with the creekside trap. And it's not real tough trapping these things it's you know they're in the area you set you're gonna catch them it's just a matter of time the only downfall is they do have a big home range so that kind of that kind of prevents it geez you're close yeah i just build cubbies i mean really that's basically it on saturday i just bid the trap right in front of it Put some bait in it, not good. All right. Careful, buddy. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, it's just beautiful out here. All right, that's literally all there is to it. You see, you just make a cubby, traps and go at the entrance, bedded, bait, lure, that's it. All right, let's go make another one. Okay, so we're back. It is like unseasonably warm, like 65 right now, ridiculous. I figured the coons would move last night. And while I haven't checked all my traps, the possums moved last night. You see, I got him in this blind set right here. So you can see the trail. So this guy, I'm gonna let him go. I like to get a nice uh, possum tanned, but this one's a little small. And I don't know. I should kill him just because he eats turkey and duck eggs. And, but I don't think I'm gonna. Not this one anyway. Let's see when guys get you set up for the release. All right. All right, Buster Brown. Are you gonna be a nice possum? Are you gonna be an ordinary one? Holy crap. All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Well, no, not down towards the upper. Go on. Go on there, buddy.
That would be the possum he decided to cross the old creek. Well, that's the high bank side there, buddy. Stay out of my fox sets. Thank you. That's that's done. For now, I'm just gonna leave that pan. For now, I'm just gonna leave that exposed, that pan. So I, I don't have my sifted dirt with me. So that'll catch. Still a trail. Put them on enough wire, got them off the trail. The trail's still in good shape. So I'm gonna blend it just a little bit. We'll get going to the next one. All right. We're just down, like literally right across from where I caught that possum. And got something that's a little more my flavor here. Not a giant one, but coon nonetheless. Nothing in the mink set. All right. I could tell something went on down here because it's all tore up. You can see where I have my little cubby. You can see he's left the cubby intact, but. This guy, oh, how nice, some Wonder Bread. There he is, that's a good dark one too, wow. That's a real nice one. Not big, but nice. All right, I'm gonna get him taken care of and uh, move on. It's a good front foot catch. All right. And water's coming into my boots now from that stupid cat I had to release yesterday. All right, I digress. Let's go. Okay, so I got the set remade, him taken care of. He's actually bigger than I thought, and he's real dark. He's a nice looking coon. Um, here's the set. Nothing simple. This is a natural cubby. I just, I built it up here. This rock was here. Hoping to get mink running this creek. You can see the pan, one and a half Victor right there. Just under a little bit of water, bait in there, shellfish oil. That's all she wrote. Good enough for this guy. I'm gonna get him washed off. And we'll get going to the next ones. Well, back at this bridge. And remember how I told you guys I like to toggle things, so Oh, that uh, animals get away from the pocket and not screw it up. When I come up here, immediately notice the discrepancy. The literally 12 foot log I had this trap toggled to, and there's a big coon, like he's, he's a big one. Whew. All right, let's go see him. There's the steak. There's the coon. There's the set. Oh well, we got him. Big coon too. He's not happy right now. That's that's a big coon. All right. 
All right, I'm gonna attempt to set the camera down, get this guy taken care of, get over there, remake that set set. All right, all right, that's it. I swear I'm ending the video with this outro. I've done like three or four different outros. That's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lump these checks together in one longer video. So, today was a pretty good day. We don't have a lot of traps out. Um, I figured the coons would be moving last night because it's like 50 degrees and they were. And actually that pocket back there where you guys saw I caught one of the coons in a couple days ago. It was all underwater so I never reset it, pulled the trap. Well, the fish I used for bait, the piece of fish is pulled up on the bank of coon tracks everywhere. It's a big beaver track there too so but that's it for this video fish are trapping beaver trapping next i'm probably gonna pull this these couple traps here tomorrow and concentrate on beaver and fisher but oh man that coon at that bridge up there i was i didn't see the drag and i'm like oh no i thought i caught a beaver because you will occasionally catch beavers in pocket sets. He's just a big coon. That's probably top three biggest coons I've caught and shot. He's over, I'd say he's over 22 for sure. Probably pushing 25. But that's it. All right, guys. I'll give you a look at the coons when we get back to the house. But for now, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.